just created the listings for the new Christmas food dishes. So the stocking, the white Christmas tree, and the green Christmas tree. The pictures are on my phone and not on the computer. So that's why I just put a random picture that I had on my computer on here. And I am going to need to change them. I'm not sure if that's the prices. I should put a random price. I need to calculate it, but I have to look at my phone to do that. But yeah, so I just got those listings up. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So this vlog is going to probably be very short, just like yesterday's vlog, but tomorrow's vlog is probably going to be pretty long. That was one thing I needed to get done, um, and then I need to go through all my orders and write them all down, and write down how much of each thing I'm going to need to bake tomorrow, just so I can visually look at it. I have the Christmas tree dish in white, and then I also have it in green, and then the red stocking dish. So they're pretty big, a lot bigger than my usual food dishes. So yeah, so I have those. So today's video, like I said, is going to be pretty short. Um, I might throw in a couple of clips of the guinea pigs just because you haven't seen them in a while. I'll insert those right now actually so you can see them. <laughs> go through the orders and write down everything I need to make from each order and see what I already have. All right, so basically what I do is I just have a notes thing and what I do is I put the orders in, put the total that need to be completed, and then I'll write the person's name and then what I need to get for them. So for this person, this person had a very large order and I write them in order of how I get them. So I actually have 20 orders now, so I'm going to need to add one in, but what I like to do is I write the person's name in that green color and then I write down anything that isn't made yet in this teal color and then in that purple color are things that I have already had made and prepackaged. So for this person I already have pumpkin seeds, the peanut butter and carob ham treats and the flax sprays. And my handwriting is bad, so ignore that. So I just write them all down. Things like boxes, so the fall mini bundle. Um, this person ordered that and I just listed underneath it what is in each bundle so then I can physically like change these to different colors as I make them because I'm not going to make them all at once because I don't have the fall mini bundle pre-made because it uses pumpkin and pumpkin can't be pre-made. And then I also write any snuggle sacks in pink. So these are all the ones I need to do. And then what I do, so the next thing I do is I write down everything I need to bake. So this is everything so far. As I get new orders, I just I adjust it as necessary. So I wrote down everything that needs to be made. And instead of writing like, oh, two bags, I write down the physical number. So I need to make 33 3D pumpkins. And so three come in a bag. So that means I need to make 11 bags of them, not 33 bags of them. It just makes it easier for me to look at it that way. So when I'm baking, I can be like, okay, I need to find a way to split this into 33 different pieces instead of me accidentally splitting it into 11 pieces and then not having enough. So that's what I do. And then I need to write, all, rewrite all the snuggle sacks and put them below that. And then I'm gonna need to move that whole thing down and add the other order in there. And the other order is just, um, I think one flax. So that's already all set. So this is just what I do now instead of sticky notes because it's just, it's color coded so it's easier for me to read and I'm not wasting sticky notes. I just went through, changed the order total to 20, and then I added in that order that needed to be added in. So that would be this person who ordered one flax. Then I added in everything I needed to bake. So I need to bake 33 of the pumpkins, 90 of the Yule Log hamster treats, 
20 of the chocolate chip cookies, 180 of the candy cane hamster treats, 30 of the strawberry hamster treats, 130 of the raspberry, 30 of the blueberry, 190 of the blackberry, 100 of the peanut butter and carob swirl for our hamsters, 20 floral blondies, 10 pumpkin rabbit and guinea pig treats, two treat and chews, which I need to bake six of the little donut rings that hang on it, um, 20 blue corn bonbons, a, so that's everything that I need to like bake, and then what I need to make is a mallow loofah, two berry fairy forage, a winter wonderland forage, and a fall chew. The total number of flax I need to have bundled up is 11, which I already have more than enough, which means I can adjust how many flax is available on my website, or my Etsy, I keep on saying website. And then I need to make a total of 10 snuggle sacks. So the small dandy donuts, medium of the seasoned snowflakes, and medium of jolly reindeer, medium hot cocoa, large rainbow floral, large floral fox, small seasoned snowflakes, two uh, medium mystery snuggle sacks for boys, and then a medium Christmas light. So that's my first order for mystery snuggle sacks. Basically what that is, is I'll just throw in a mystery snuggle sack and both of them, and this person ordered two, and they're both for boys. So, uh, yeah, so that's everything written down, all color-coded, easy to visualize. Now what I think I'm gonna do next is probably figure out how many of each box I'm gonna need for the orders and build those boxes. So right now I have four big boxes already taped up, like the bottom taped, and then four of the small ones. So I'm gonna see how much I'm, I think I'm gonna need, and then the ones I don't know, I just, I'll just leave and then see when I get there, just so I can be a little bit ahead of the game. And then I'll talk to you guys from there. <laughs> So I just went through, so I'm gonna need eight small boxes, seven large boxes, and then four bags, and then one of them, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a large box or the, my old large boxes, I have like three left. So they're very long and short. So I don't know if that person's gonna need a bag, one of my regular large boxes, or one of my old large boxes, so I'm not sure yet. Um, that I'll have to wait and see how big all the items are. So small boxes usually have things like if someone just orders a food dish or a couple of treats or something. Uh, the large boxes, anyone that orders flax has to be put in a large box because the flax is so long. So all the orders with flax have to go in large boxes automatically. And then if, it, if an order is too big for a small, obviously I put it in a large. And then the bags, I usually just put snuggle sacks in because they're soft and they can't be like broken and crushed. And then this one order for Marion Gelly, that's their Etsy user ID. That was the one I didn't know. Yeah, so four bags, seven large and eight small. And like I said, I already have four large and four small left. So I just need to grab tape up four more small and three more large. And the bags will just leave how they are. So I'm gonna go and do that. Um, I'm probably not gonna record that because it's just taping boxes. So I'll just talk to you guys once I'm done. All right, so these are the boxes. So I have seven of the large ones in the back and then I have eight of the small ones in the front. So those are all taped up and all set to put stuff in. So now the next thing I think I'm gonna do is, so I put tissue paper in every single one of my boxes. And what I do is put the tissue paper in the bottom and then I'll fold them. I'll fold them over and put a little thank you for your order sticker so that everything's all nice and tightly compact when things move around uh, when they're shipped. So then I'll take like, I'll crumple up some of that like cardboard paper stuff and I'll just, um, lay it on the top. Like I'll crinkle it up and lay it on the top so then it stuff doesn't move. And then it's just for extra, oh, this is right here just like paper so I'll crinkle it up and then spread it out so then it's like basically crinkled and then uncrinkled well, not uncrinkled but you know so I think I might 
cut the tissue paper if I get a chance. I might not. We'll see. This drawer is looking very festive. Oh gosh. So yeah, so the white trees. Ignore the guinea pigs. They're yelling. So we have the white Christmas trees, the green Christmas tree, the stocking. And what I like about these dishes, like I said yesterday, they're really deep. So I'm actually probably going to keep one for my guinea pigs. Don't know which one will go with their cage thing yet. But I'll get one because their current dish is kind of small. And then, yeah, so these are all of the pre-made snuggle sacks. Like, or pre-sewn. All of my Christmas patterns are pre-cut. But, so I always have at least one of the smalls done. So then I can take pictures. So, like, these are the two new patterns. This is what they look like when they're sewn. So I have one of each of those, then all of my small ones of all my other patterns are sewn. So I sold this one. So pretend that's not there. So I'm gonna need to package that up. I haven't sold any of this one. No one really seems to like the moose. So I won't be bringing that back next year, but I will definitely be bringing back this one. I'm gonna try to get my hands on some of this uh, fleece because I went to the store and they didn't have it at the fabric store. So I'm gonna need to order it online. But I'm gonna try to get more in because a bunch of people have been messaging me like, where'd it go? And I'm like, it's sold out. So I think I'm just gonna bundle up the rest of the flax real quick. That's what I have left. My supplier is out of flax right now. So I messaged them asking, asking them when they were gonna get it back in. And of course, they don't have it now. Like the one time I needed the most. So I was actually gonna order way more. I usually only get like three large bundles and I was gonna get like five or six because it sells out so fast. So I think that's going to be the end of this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because it's going to be a lot more, I guess there's going to be a lot more stuff in it. I'm just trying not to be repetitive right now. If you have any ideas of things you want me to do for Vlogmas, let me know because I'll, I'm open to any and all suggestions. So be sure to check out any previous Vlogmas videos. So day one and two and tomorrow, stay tuned because we got and I will see you guys tomorrow.